Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. First of all, I want to thank Almighty God. I cannot hide this. I love my mom so much. I want to appreciate everybody. I want to thank you. I want to appreciate the pastors. Appreciate my church members. Appreciate my husband's family. Most especially, I want to thank my husband for being there for me. Um, my mom was only a mother that I see in this life that carry all her children along with whatever she wants to do. <laughs> my mother lived a purposeful life and she accomplished all her dreams. My mom was <laughs> not only a wonderful mother, but she was among the most special women on this earth. She had an amazing life filled with the desire to make different and to make those around her amazed as well. My mom was born 1944, July 20. Some years back, she gave back to me the same month and the same day. That means to say, me and my mom celebrate birthday together. You can see what has it really cost? My mom gave birth to seven children to the glory of God. My mom, she is originated from Bondo State, in the Oluji. Her secondary school, her primary school, secondary school, she took them in her home. Then after, she went to Oyo State in Nevada to further her education. She then met my father, Mr. James Adio Babalola. My mom next went to Ola Pisi Obobanjo University, where she studied computer science. She also attended Christ Apostolic Church, and she became a member of this choir. She is also a woman leader in the church. She participated in all, she always participated in everything in the church. Both cleaning, everything. She loved all her children with a great passion. And she taught us the way of God. I remember that time. CAC stuff. The usher will be saying, children of elder. Don't wear earring. Then they will be using the earring to drag us out of the church. They almost call at our hand there. My daddy will say, okay. These children, we are telling them not to use earring. They refuse. Leave them alone. I know one day by themselves they will stop using it. After church service, we love following our dad home. Simply because she is going to buy us body. <laughs> As a mom. But our mom, whenever you follow my mom to glorious women meeting, then if it is your turn to do meeting, to have all the women, you are going to prepare nice food. And my mom will be telling them, oh, these children, they just finish eating. I will be looking at them. <laughs> Just for us not to be looking at the food. And we are about to say that mommy should be. And we keep quiet. When we are about to leave, my mom says, okay, now let's go. The reason why I say that is that it's not good. And that the people is having it. They ask me immediately. We are not even doing open prayer. They say you want to eat. Next time, when you follow me to anyway, they ask you, do you want to eat? You say just. You are okay, or you are, we just finished it in my hand.
My mom also taught us how to be a woman. On that one, I want to say something. How to be a giver in what in what person? When we were small, all our brothers, when they are eating something, we will say, okay, everyone, give me, they will give us. Give me, they will give us. When it is our turn, my mom will give us something or buy something for us. And our brother will just came in and say, you know what, so you have to me, my sister. And we start crying. And mom will say, what was the, oh, what was the meaning of that noise? She said, yeah, baby, 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 no. And mom will say, okay, baby, baby, no good for your brother now. But it's good for you to beg from your brother. They will now instruct our brother to collect that thing from us and eat it finish. And my mom will say, when next I hear your crying, concerning this matter, they will be collecting all those things and eat it finish. So when they collect, when they beg you for something, you better give them the one thing. One you can give them. That makes me a giver. Don't be stingy. Because you're going to finish that thing. And when you finish it, what else? Nothing. My mommy also taught us how to be a pleasing for you. He taught us how to love. He taught us how to care. How to be a caring woman, most especially she would tell us I have five girls. You have to know how to take care of your man. My mom taught us how to be a hard working. I can remember them. She would say, I married to Ibadoma. And for Mondo, you should know how to pound him. When my mommy finished cooking yam, she will pan the album and leave the remaining yam inside the pot. She will say, children, it's time to eat. They will be looking at the yam. Mommy, what happened now? You make money your own. My mommy said, you can see now. Go ahead, finish there. Take your own, your portion, your everybody. Take your own, put inside the water, pound it. Then you pack it. The next person will pound his own. That's all. We are going to eat together. She taught us how to prepare food how to make our environment clean, how to make our body clean, how to clean it in and out. And also, she let us know that you must respect everybody, even the one that is very young to, to you, younger to you. Um, secondly, anybody that see me smiling, I like it for my mom. My mom will tell you, when you are excusing your face, you are pushing away your help and your good friend. And it makes you ugly. Even though the hundred makeup in this on this end can't and make you up more when you are excusing your face. So learn how to smile. Sometimes when she prepares me food. You know children then, we will be waiting for soup. And my mommy will be busy taking care of her daddy will say, okay, oh girl. You say, oh, okay, why are you franking your face? Oh, mommy, you, her mother is ready now <laughs> about the soup. You say, oh girl, I have to satisfy my husband. Give him his own food, then I'll come and attend to him. Then she will now say, if I see your face, you excuse your face, you are not going to eat that food. <laughs> they will start smiling. <laughs> this is my mama, <laughs> they will start smiling. So she let us know that smiling is very good and it brings so many things to you. She said one day we were still small and we lost our daddy. Anytime we ask our mommy for money, that they said we should bring things, we should bring this. My mommy always said one joke. She would say, uh-uh. When you get to your school tomorrow, tell them you, you, you didn't have that dish. You will not say, ah, is it only us that we didn't have that dish? Ah, I'm not going to be telling her that we didn't have that No, 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 no. You say, okay, no problem. She will not give it to us. If you say it's not enough, she will not say, ah, how much is my salary? <laughs> so, see, she passed away. We normally use that as joke for her. That, oh, hello, mommy, how much is my salary? Yes, now how much is my salary? <laughs> my mommy always fought for her children and she stood by us. To the glory of God, everything I am today, by God's grace and by the help of my mom. Because if not for God and for her, I don't go to death. 
I thank God and I appreciate God. My mom's death was a big loss to the family, entire family, to the entire children, our friends, to the church of God, to our environment. But mommy, what can we do? We love you. But God love you, Mona. May your soul rest in perfect peace. Is there anyone here that knows one?